So now we want to consider the function z equals x squared plus y squared. And to get some idea what this is going to look like, it might help to think about traces. And so this is where we look at the graph from different directions and see what kind of shapes we get for different values uh, of, the, of the variable. So let's start with x and z plane. And so to look at the graph in this direction, we're going to have to let y equal constant. So if y was equal to, say, 0, then this equation would reduce down to z equals x squared, which would be a nice simple parabola. And this is the parabola we get when y equals 0. Now if y was equal to 1, then we'd have z equals x squared plus 1 squared is 1. And this is going to give us a shape that is shifted upwards, right? We're getting this shape when y is 1. If y is 2, we'd get z equals x squared plus 4, which is... Oops, we need to put one more there. Which is up here. And we're getting this shape. I'm going to erase my equation here so we have a more room. That's z equals x squared plus y squared. And we're getting a curve up here when x is, sorry, when y is 2. Notice if y was negative 1, because of that squared, we'd still be getting the same shape. And if, uh, if y was negative 2, we'd get this curve again. Now, visually, now you have to imagine that if we introduce the y-axis coming out of the board, imagine each of these curves being moved to their proper y-values. So a y value of 0 would be about here. So we imagine sort of this quadratic shape about here. And then at a y value of 1, then this curve is shifted up a little. At a y value of 2, the curve is shifted up a little more. And so we're imagining these curves uh, happening at different, you know, at different y values, we get these different curves still kind of hard to see what's going on, so we might look at it from a different direction. So if we look at y and z, then we can let x equal a constant. And if x equals 0, z would be y squared, and we're going to get a shape like that. If x equals 1, we're going to get y squared plus 1. It's going to look like that. And we quickly see that uh, whether we look at it from the left uh, sort of side or the front, uh, either way, we're going to get the same sorts of shapes. We're going to be seeing parabolas. And so we might try the other direction. So what happens if we look down on the graph? What happens if we look towards the xy plane? So now we'll let z equal a constant. So if z equals 1, we'd have x squared plus y squared equals 1. And this is the equation of a circle. Right? So there's in the circle uh, a radius 1. If z equals 2, we'd have x squared plus y squared equals 2, which is a circle with radius root 2, or about 1.4 something, so 2 there. And we're going to get different circles here. So if z equals 4, we'd have x squared plus y squared equals 4, which is a circle of radius 2. And so we have smaller circles lower down, larger circles going up. And we might be starting to get some idea what this is going to look like. So this is telling me that at a y, z value of 1, I'm getting a little circle in the xy plane. At a y value of 2, I'm getting a slightly bigger circle. At a y value, z value, sorry, z value of 4, I'm getting a slightly bigger circle still. Now remember also that looking at it from uh, this direction, towards the xz plane, we're seeing parabolas. And so we should see that here too. When y is 0, we should be seeing a parabola. Right? Looking this direction, we should see a parabola as well. And we get an idea now of what the shape looks like. It's going to look like a bowl. The technical name for this is a paraboloid.